Good Wednesday evening from here at the National Weather Service in Springfield, Missouri. My name is Justin Titus, and I'm going to be going through some graphics and some information here about our upcoming weather event that will be going on tonight through uh, Thursday evening. First, let's look at the warm side of this event. We're expecting some thunderstorms um, late tonight, Wednesday night, into Thursday afternoon, uh, primarily the early afternoon. The threat for tonight into early Thursday morning uh, is mainly over far southeast Kansas and far southwestern Missouri. It's just a marginal chance. We're looking at just, uh, you could have a couple or maybe a few storms with some st stronger storms producing hail up to the size of quarters and wind gusts to 60 miles per hour. Again, we're expecting uh, these to be very isolated in nature, these stronger storms. Um, and then again, that timing would be late tonight um, into early Thursday morning. On Thursday into uh, Thursday morning into early Thursday afternoon, uh, we're going to again see that marginal risk south of 44 with a slight risk over far south central Missouri, southeast of West Plains. So the greatest coverage is going to be farther to the southeast. Um, we're expecting to see a few storms that could produce some hail up to the size of quarters and wind gusts to 60 miles per hour. Again, not a widespread severe weather event, but we're going to have to keep our eye out uh, for a few stray storms that could produce these hazards. Uh, we're expecting heavy rain as well, uh, primarily kind of along and southeast of the I-44 corridor, um, even getting up as far north in, into the Osage Beach area. Um, with this heavy rain, we could see some minor flooding. We're looking at one to two inches of rain in general. Could see some locally higher, locally lower amounts. Uh, of course, this will uh, be a hazard for those low water crossings that typically flood in these sorts of situations. So you're going to want to keep your... Uh, Keep your eye on the road, plan ahead, uh, avoid flooded intersections, and never drive into flooded roadways. The primary threat, uh, timing of the threat would be from uh, this evening, uh, probably more later in the evening, uh, through um, or into Thursday evening. Looking at our winter headlines, we have a winter weather advisory across a good portion of the area, generally um, north and along and north of Highway 60, and then a winter storm warning farther north across the east central, west, east central Kansas, west central Missouri, and into central Missouri. Uh, we're expecting a, a mix of ice and light snow in that advisory area, the purple area on your map. And we are expecting heavy snow with a little bit of icing potential in the, the winter storm warning areas. Looking particularly at the expected snowfall, um, that snow precipitation will start to transition from rain to a wintry mix and then to snowfall late tonight. And we're talking more towards early Thursday morning into the, into the Thursday evening time frame. And so we're expecting those higher snowfall amounts, like I said, up, up to the north of the Springfield area. Um, Springfield itself expected to get uh, zero to one inch. You can see in the map there, um, the higher amounts are up north of Nevada to Warsaw line. Um, especially up when you get closer to Kansas City and uh, up toward Columbia along Highway 70. So again, that timing Thursday morning into the evening for that transition to, uh, to snowfall and uh, heavier snowfall to develop in that time frame. Looking at the ice forecast, we we're again expecting that transition to a wintry mix uh, late tonight into early Thursday morning and continuing into the evening hours. Um, the highest potential for ice will be along and north of Interstate 44, we're not expecting any crippling ice amounts or any uh, significant um, threats to power outages from these ice amounts, but we could see a glaze up to uh, oh, 15 hundredths of an inch, between a tenth and two tenths of an inch of ice. Um, not expected to cause widespread issues to infrastructure such as power lines, but we could see some travel impacts from this as the temperatures cool throughout the day. Uh, we could see some flash freeze as well as those temperatures drop, but just look out for slick spots, icy spots, and uh, snowy spots on the road come morning. Here's the timing of precipitation type changeover um, at a few select spots across the area. In general, it's going to change over across the northwestern portions of our area, which is uh, southeast Kansas into central Missouri um, and then down to southwest Missouri. Um, looking at that changeover across the north, north of Highway 54, in the 4 to 7 a.m. time frame. And then you can see as you, as you go west, northwest to southeast, the transition is going to occur later and later, and the precipitation will end uh, later Thursday evening in that 4 to 7 time, p.m. time frame for the most part with the central Missouri counties lingering some light snow into the 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. time frame. If you need additional resources, you can go to our website weather.gov slash Springfield. We have additional resources there, some graphics and some pages where you can go to get uh, more thorough information and um, updated information 
um, uh, above what has been uh, shared here on this, uh, this briefing. If you have any questions, go to that, go to our site or go to our social media platforms and uh, to ask questions there or check for updates.